It's 2 a.m. The city is quiet and my computer's glow is the only light in the room. This is my favorite time to explore the internet. No notifications, no distractions, just curiosity. Tonight, I was deep into GitHub, the world's biggest code library. Developers everywhere upload their projects here, from simple tools to complex AI. I wasn't searching for anything, just following links from one project to another. It's fascinating to see the creativity and the human effort behind the tech we use daily. But then, a strange repository name caught my eye. Something aggressive, not your usual photo editor or task manager. One click, and my late night browsing took a turn into the unexpected. This isn't a story about hacking for harm. It's about what you can find when you peek behind the internet's curtain. What I found was a collection of tools that reveal just how fragile our digital communications can be. This is for awareness, why email security matters more than ever. So let's dive into what I stumbled upon in that quiet early morning hour. The journey starts with a single click, and it's a click that changed how I see my inbox. Before we go further, let's be clear. These tools can be used for harm. I'm not endorsing them. I didn't download them. And I'm not telling you to seek them out. The point here is awareness. Understanding threats so you can protect yourself. Think of it like learning how locks are picked. Not to pick them, but to buy a better lock. Knowledge is for defense, not offense. These tools are often labeled as for educational purposes or penetration testing, but the line is thin. In the wrong hands, they can invade privacy and steal information. Attempting to access someone's email without permission is illegal, period. This is about understanding attacker methods so you can build a better shield. Let's keep this ethical and legal. When you hear about hacking, it's not dark magic. It's often exploiting simple mistakes. By understanding these tools, you'll see how easy it is to become a target and how to avoid it. The goal, demystify the threats and show you practical steps to stay safe. Let's proceed with that understanding. Now back to that 2 a.m. discovery. Here's what I found and why it matters. Scrolling through GitHub, I landed on a user with projects named Sniper Mail, Email Bomber, Black Box Mail, and Evil Mail. It felt like stumbling into a digital armory, not the usual collaborative space. The README files described tools for testing email vulnerabilities, but the names suggested something more sinister. These weren't isolated projects. There was a whole ecosystem, with users sharing, modifying, and improving these tools. Some names, like Fishfisher, left little to the imagination. What struck me most, this wasn't hidden on the dark web. It was right there, open to anyone. The accessibility is what makes these tools dangerous. Security professionals might use them responsibly, but anyone could grab them and cause trouble. The tools for digital mischief are just a few clicks away. It's a sobering realization, and it's why understanding these threats is so important. Let's look at what these tools actually do. The first two tools, Sniper Mail and Email Bomber, represent classic attacks. Sniper Mail tries thousands of password combinations to break into an email account, a brute force attack. It uses word lists of common passwords, hoping for an easy win. The lesson, password strength is everything. Simple passwords are cracked in seconds. Use long, complex passwords with a mix of characters. It's your first line of defense. Email Bomber, on the other hand, floods a target inbox with thousands of emails in minutes. It's a denial of service attack, burying important messages under a mountain of junk. For individuals, it's annoying. For businesses, it can mean missed orders or security alerts. The takeaway, robust spam filters and rate limits are essential. Security isn't just about keeping people out, it's about keeping your inbox usable. These tools show how fragile our digital communication can be and why simple habits like strong passwords matter so much. The next set of tools, even more dangerous, they target people, not just passwords. Let's talk about social engineering. Black box mail and evil mail shift from brute force to deception. Social engineering. Black box mail crafts convincing fake emails, mimicking brands like Google or your bank. The goal, trick you into clicking a link or giving up info. The defense, always verify emails. Check the sender's address, hover over links, and never click suspicious messages. Evil mail goes further helping attackers set up fake login pages that look real. Enter your credentials and you've handed them over. 
The best defense? Multi-factor authentication. Even if your password is stolen, a second factor keeps your account safe. These tools exploit trust and urgency. Stay skeptical and always double check before you act. Social engineering is about tricking people, not breaking code. Awareness is your best shield. Fish Fisher takes phishing to the next level, a full framework for managing attacks. It automates everything, templates, tracking who clicks, and collecting stolen credentials. The lesson, cybercrime is industrialized. Anyone can launch convincing attacks with little skill. That's why vigilance matters more than ever. Report suspicious emails. Your actions help improve filters for everyone. Phishing is no longer obvious. It's polished and professional. Shift your mindset, not if, but when you'll be targeted. Be ready to scrutinize emails, verify links, and use strong passwords and two-factor authentication. Tools like Fishfisher remind us, we're all potential targets. Awareness and preparation are key. After reading about these tools, I realized you can't defend against threats you don't understand. Sniper mail exposes weak passwords. Email bomber shows how fragile service availability is. Black box mail, evil mail, and fish fisher exploit human psychology. Attackers aren't breaking encryption, they're tricking you. This knowledge shifts security from just tech to behavior and awareness. For developers, these tools are blueprints for what to defend against. For everyone else, they explain why password managers, two-factor authentication, and skepticism are so important. Knowing these tools exist makes security advice feel urgent, not arbitrary. A little inconvenience is worth the protection. Understanding the threat turns fear into caution, and caution into better habits. That's how we build real security. Let's talk about what you can do. Protecting yourself doesn't require expert skills, just good habits. First. Use strong, unique passwords for every account. Don't reuse them. A password manager creates and stores complex passwords for you. One strong master password unlocks the rest. This single step defeats brute force tools like sniper mail. Next, enable two-factor authentication everywhere, especially for email. Even if your password is stolen, a second factor blocks attackers. It's a powerful defense. Turn it on wherever possible. Finally, stay skeptical. Don't trust emails by default, even if they look official. Hover over links, check sender addresses, and never rush to click. If in doubt, go directly to the website instead of clicking email links. Stop, think, and verify. These habits protect you from social engineering. Your awareness is your best defense. Small steps, big impact. Stay proactive, not paranoid. As dawn broke, I closed my laptop, thinking about how vulnerable our inboxes really are. Email is built on old tech, constantly targeted by new tools. The digital world has bright spots and dark alleys. Knowing the risks helps you stay safe. This isn't about fear, but informed caution. Curiosity led me down this rabbit hole, but responsibility keeps me safe. The tools I found are reminders. Misuse is always possible. Digital security is a shared responsibility. Providers, developers, and users all play a part. Strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and skepticism aren't chores, they're essential. Next time you open your inbox, remember the journey your email took and its vulnerabilities. Appreciate the tech, but respect its limits. My accidental discovery didn't make me trust tech less, it made me use it more wisely. In the digital world, a little awareness and a few good habits make all the difference. Stay curious and stay 